Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now in today's episode, we're going to take a look at the all-important conjunction of Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn in the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. I will go through all 12 signs. We'll do a very mini report for every single sign. So you'll be able to check your moon sign, your ascendant uh, with ease. I'll you know put the uh, names by my side so you can easily find it. And we'll take a look at what this conjunction means for all of us. We're going to take a look first from a collective standpoint and then we're going to take a look individually. So when did this last happen in our skies? When did we last have Saturn and Pluto get together in Capricorn? It last happened during the years 1784, 85, 86 and 87. I thought, right, let me Google search and see what happened during those years. And I found this brilliant article called A New Nation, 1784 to 1790. And I had a read of this article. I'm going to link to it below. You'll be able to read it as well. You'll be able to see what happened during that time. It's really interesting and there are lots of parallels. So late 1784 was the beginning of trade between China and America. How amazing, right? Because it does feel like that relationship between China and America is being revisited in quite a strong way right now. 1786, Congress adopted a monetary system based on the Spanish dollar with a gold piece valued at $10, silver pieces at $1 and so on. So that's very interesting that the monetary system was quite a focus at that time as it is now. Summer of 1786, Americans suffered from post-war economic depression, including a shortage of currency, high taxes, nagging creditors, farm closures and bankruptcies. Again, that's very Capricorn type stuff. October 1786, Congress establishes the US Mint. How amazing. And from then on, the article outlines all kinds of protests and civil unrest that you know was, was quite pronounced at that time, as it is right now. So this is extraordinary because Saturn and Pluto have come together and look at all the things that were happening then in 1784 and take a look at all the things that are happening now. It's very, very similar. But why would I call this episode slam dunking corruption? Okay, why would I not call it a new nation like that article you know that I was reading today because I could have called it you know the birth of a new nation or regenerating a nation or something like that and in the mini readings for all of you I'm going to look at the regeneration aspect of these two coming together so I am going to look at a more positive focus when I read for each of you individually but I'm actually calling this slam dunking corruption because another big thing about when Saturn and Pluto get together is their tremendous power to work together to rip corruption out from the roots. Saturn can do a pretty good job on his own. Saturn Moon, I always see Saturn Moon as this kind of um, combination that, you know, Saturn can, and that's Saturn passing over the moon, it's Sati Sati phase, it's Saturn reaching into your mind, ripping out a, a dynamic or, or something in your psyche that's not working. He rips that out. So Saturn's got real skills at ripping things out from the roots. But imagine Saturn together with Pluto, right? That's extreme. And that's, you know, the, the power there is the ability to, you know, slam dunking corruption might be, slam dunking might be a bit of a flimsy term, right? Maybe I should call it ripping corruption out from the roots or something like that because it really is, it can, I think it could be quite extreme. And I think we're going to have some seismic shifts, absolutely massive shifts, extreme shifts in the next couple of months. And this is from a government perspective, financially, this is kind of to do with the abstract structures that govern how we do what we do on this earth, right? How we, how we play the games we play as well. I think it's going to be massive. And I think truth seekers everywhere are going to be quite happy, right? I think people who want truth, people who want justice, people who 
who want these things to be sorted out are going to have a lot to, to watch and, and look at and see, right? Uh, I'm certainly going to be getting my popcorn out and, and watching the whole thing. So, uh, you know, I'm not in America, obviously. I'm here in Australia. It's kind of, you know, we're a bit out of the spotlight. It's, it's easy for me to just observe all of these things from a distance. But, yeah, I think it's going to be an amazing time, especially in the United States. So when does this start? This starts 31st December. That's when Pluto makes his entrance into Capricorn. He will be there until 6 March 2039. That's a really long time. And what I'm seeing here now, I think in terms of um, in terms of change, I think the next four to five years are going to be really tough. And I'm saying that because if you look at that period in that's outlined in the New Nation, it's 1784 to 1790. That is seven years, right? I'm thinking the next four to five years there's going to be radical change and shifts. It's going to be quite incredible. And I think that within four to five, even stretch it out to seven years, but I think we're going to have a lot of, a lot of things will have changed. A lot of things will be new. We're on the brink of a brand new generation. This is a brand new generation. This is a brand new chapter in history. I think every single one of us has incarnated at an incredible time. We are so lucky to be alive, to be watching this, right? Or even to be part of it. You know, those of you living in America, you're part of it, right? So this is really incredible. This is a very incredible time. So yeah, I think this is a good time to be keeping our eyes on the news. Today, the only thing news-wise that I looked at was a live stream of the case uh, one of the cases where they are going through and talking to witnesses who were explaining, uh, you know, that my supervisor told me to do this and the ballots came and I was told that don't worry about this and, and do this and like this, these individuals are coming up and they're speaking. And I saw two Indian women, two very brave, lovely Indian women you know, sitting next to Rudy Giuliani in the court. And uh, one, I think her name was Hima, I believe. She was amazing. And she said, you know, she, she gave her testimony and said that I don't care whether it's Trump or Biden, it doesn't matter to me. She said, what I know is that, you know, the, the process and the way things are being done is wrong. And she said, and I want to give my testimony. I want to, you know, I'm, I'm interested in truth. And I think that is the important thing, right? It's not about, it's gone beyond party politics. This is not partisan anymore. This is beyond, and that's Saturn and Pluto. It's gone beyond, right? You've gone way beyond with Pluto, okay? That's, that's far beyond. So, and when I was watching all these testimonies, there was a young man sitting next to Hema, and I wrote this down because he said, reality will change for the next thousand years if we don't sort out the corruption. And I had to write that down. He said that in court, he's there, Hema's there, Rudy Giuliani's there, and I just thought that is the quote of the day. And I wrote it down and I thought, that is the most astrologically, and I was preparing these notes for Saturn and Pluto, and I hear that line, reality will change for the next thousand years if we don't sort out the corruption. Absolutely, that, that could not be a more astrologically correct statement, right? That is truth there, you know, and we are dealing with very large time frames here. So all of this has just been so fascinating. But Let's take a look at what this means for you personally, because these two are getting together somewhere in your chart. And when we look at this for an individual, you know, I'm not going to look at it in terms of corruption or, or any of that. How I'm going to look at this is that picture, you know, massive slabs of concrete and these massive slabs of concrete just everywhere, all around you. And then picture a crack in the concrete and a little tiny green shoot is trying to grow. Okay, there's some regeneration happening in your life somewhere. And that's what these little mini readings are gonna be about, okay? I'm looking for where is the regeneration? Where is that new shoot? 
where is that that place where a little bit of green wants to grow in in this uh, you know concreted massively concreted area so that's how I'm reading this so let's get into it let's take a look at Aries Aries contemplate the purpose of your career what do you want to achieve and can you mod modulate your ambition to enable you to go after work that excites you that fulfills you and has more meaning okay so for Aries this is definitely a thing of career this is definitely going to shake you up a little bit ask you you know are you really doing what you want to be doing you know you can be doing more how do you feel about that right and it doesn't it's not asking you to do much more but at least be turned in that direction so that's Aries now let's take a look at Taurus your beliefs are going to be worked through my goodness Taurus there yes your beliefs are being worked through quite a bit this is a fantastic opportunity to study broadly and to re-engineer your beliefs so that they serve you in such a way that you can serve the whole better because you remember you are a part of the all is one right and you know if your beliefs are set up in such a way you know your beliefs can be set up in such a way that you you treat yourself well because you are part of that whole and that you can serve with ease right so beliefs are important here it also could be to do with study as well you might want to take the next couple of years to really study and go in depth in some subject that's really really important to you so that's another great thing that's happening there for you Taurus all right so Gemini money 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 Gemini this is all about money so money other people's money and what you depend on will be being transformed and regenerated so we all depend on something you know we all depend on maybe some place or some job or people you know people the people that we have intimate ties with that we're close to how that operates within your life that is being regenerated expect big transformations in things you depend on in both career and love yeah absolutely it, it, it's this thing of dependency and this is a time of you becoming more consciously aware of what you depend on and becoming interdependent so it's not this thing of becoming totally independent or cutting away from things that you don't like as such it's more about it's more about working out the right balance for you because as humans we need each other we do we need human interaction we need connection with others and this regeneration is going to sort things out in such a way that you become interdependent it's a very good time potentially all right so let's take a look at cancer where's the regeneration happening for you well it's happening in marriage business public I've got the note here if you have been dishonest watch out right I doubt you would have been but you know we've all got some little things somewhere but if you are awaiting justice be patient this will happen okay so if something needs to be corrected in your favor maybe and as a cancer person there's some part of you that's constantly giving right you give you know and and there might need to be some justice some element of justice maybe something needs to come in for you okay uh, but this this could be a good time but definitely I, I feel there's a strong justice component that um, hopefully you know the balance gets redressed for you cancer all right so we're going to take a look at Leo Leo how your competition views you is being regenerated okay so how you compete and how you serve is being transformed so you can give more of your gifts to the world Virgo romance your creativity your relationship right especially with intimate partners if you're single this is quite uh, prominent for you okay uh, if you're married with children then definitely you'll be focused on your children so this area of your life is being regenerated okay so that's that's quite that's quite big now how your guides give you ideas 
is also possibly being widened and expanded at this time. So when it comes to creativity, our ideas are coming from somewhere, right? We're getting ideas, downloads or, you know, lightning bolt, something flash in the mind, you know, you have to scribble it down. That ability for you to take in more is being expanded. This is very exciting. So it's something to observe. It's something to just see, okay, how, how is my creativity being shaped? Yeah, I've got the note here. You could be able to run more creative energy as a result of these two major planets getting together. It's quite exciting. Okay, Libra, comfort, home, and what home means to you is being regenerated. And, and your heart, right? Your, your heart, the heart is really, that's our home. You know, sometimes if you're lucky, you fall in love, you find your home in someone else's heart. That's a really beautiful thing. So I think all of this area is, is being regenerated for you. I've got the note here, you will do well to learn how to bring your true home, which is your spiritual self, that, that part of you that knows bliss, right? You'll be learning how to bring that here. So it's not so much about us escaping from this reality and going there. It's very much about us remembering that we are a being of the beyond and to, to bring that beautiful essence here to this earth. Bring heaven to earth, right? So hopefully you'll be able to do more of that at this time. All right, Scorpio, your friendship circles, your image in the world, and your ability to take more opportunities is being steadily regenerated. Keep being courageous, keep being honest, keep being truthful as you of course would be and you'll definitely win through this time. Sagittarius, your family relationships and your long-term wealth and savings are all being regenerated. Speak the truth, stay honest with family in particular and you can really profit during these years. So definitely during the next couple of years is the time frame we're looking at here. All right, Capricorn, your entire sense of self is being regenerated. Yeah, we've had this conversation a couple of times, haven't we, Capricorn? You're really going through it right now. This is epic. I mean, this is so massive that I can't even tell you. I've got the note here, well done for timing everything so that you are in line with the most important forces in the universe, because you are, okay? You're kind of in the spotlight here. Your entire being is being regenerated. So if something is quite out of sorts, know that it's going to come good. You just have to keep plugging away, keep working a little bit each day, keep being honest, keep being true, keep holding the faith. Things are going to come good for you. I'm sure of it, Capricorn. So hang in there. Aquarius, who you are as a spiritual being is being totally regenerated. A widening of your ability to take in downloads from beyond the veil and from the universe is happening over these next two years. So it's actually, you're going through quite a profound time. So I know things for you Aquarius might have been or are quite tough at the moment. Yes, I, I understand that, but um, you'll see that this, this is actually an amazing time for you. It's, it, it will regenerate and widen and broaden your connection with the divine, with the universe. So hang in there if things are tough right now. And Pisces, massive regeneration is happening in your ability to take in new opportunities. <coughs> in a couple of years, you'll be able to innovate. You'll be able to do more with less. You'll have more insight and your network is gonna grow. Your professional network is actually gonna grow at this time. Or it might be being regenerated in some shape or form. So guys, I hope this has been a good video. I just flew through all of those very, very quickly. Perhaps someone might put the timestamps below. You're very welcome to do that. But I hope this has been an interesting video. Let me know your thoughts below and I look forward to seeing you next time.